are watching and waiting. That's what we're learning about the thieves involved in the Baltimore City's latest ATM robbery. This one happening at the 7-Eleven in Fells Point early this morning. As WMER 2 News uh, Dave Detling reports tonight, the building suffered $50,000 in damage while the crooks only got away with five grand. Well, sadly, no coffee coming from this 7-Eleven because of this crime. You can see the damage left behind after this vehicle hit the building at least seven times. We're told the damage to the building much more than what these thieves got away with. They didn't save too much to, to the imagination. They just smashed it. Historic brickwork came crumbling down early Tuesday morning after a passenger van was used as a battering ram to steal an ATM from this 7-Eleven on Thames Street in Fells Point. They showed up with a, a van, a driver, and then they had a group of three uh, on foot with, you know, fully black, blacked out clothes, black shirt, black shoes, black pants. And they were masked. Those who watched the surveillance video say the suspects involved case the area, waiting for police and security detail to leave. They swooped in as soon as the as soon as uh, the opening was there. I mean, they were in and out five to six minutes. I mean, literally like ripping the ATM out, throwing it into the van, and hauling off. It's brazen. It's a sense of lawlessness that's just exalted. I mean, I don't I don't know how else to describe this and 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 the despair that small businesses will feel. It's a feeling of deja vu because back on August 26th, the 7-Eleven on Falls Road in Hamden was also hit. The ATM taken. So far, there have been no arrests, but police have recovered several ATMs dumped behind a vacant house on the city's southwest side. I'm, I'm coming to talk to you. Baltimore police say despite the ATM thefts, cases like these are down and that specialized detectives are working throughout the city, sharing intel and working to find those responsible. This is not the first time this has happened and it will not be the last. And it's still unclear if these ATM thefts are all related, but they do share similar MOs. Meantime, if you have any information about this case, give Baltimore police a call. Reporting in Fells Point, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.